Let's talk a little bit about Apple. Everyone always wants to talk about Apple, right? <laughs> it's kind of the it stock, it company. Um, you have a $45 billion stake, more or less. How closely do you follow the company? You know, people are concerned they haven't really introduced any new products. Well, if you have to closely follow a company, you shouldn't own it. Yeah. Really? No, I mean, if you, I mean if, you, if you buy a business, if you buy a farm, you know, do you go up and look, you know, every couple of weeks to see how far the corn is up and, uh, you know, do you worry too much about whether somebody says this is going to be a year of low prices because exports are being affected or anything like that? You know, you buy a farm and you hold it for, I've got one farm that I bought in the 1980s and my son runs it, but I've, I've been there once, you know, I mean, it, 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 it doesn't grow faster if I go and stare at it, you know, I can't cheer for it, you know, more effort, more effort or something like that. And I know there's going to be some years when prices are going to be good and some when the prices aren't going to be good. I know there's years when yields will be better than others, but I bought the farm and, and uh, it, if, it, it just doesn't, I don't care about economic predictions on it or anything of the sort. I do care that over, over the years it's well tended to in, in terms of rotating crops and I hope yields get better, which they generally have. In fact, that farm 100 years ago would have probably produced 30 bushels, maybe 35 bushels of corn per acre. And now in a good year, you know, it'd be 200. I mean, we really made progress in this country. That's one reason commodity prices, if you go back a couple hundred years, they've moved so little is because we've just gotten better and better at whether it's cotton or whether it's, it's corn or soybeans or all kinds of things. And you and I have benefited from that. And so Apple is kind of like a farm. Well, it's, it's a, it's a long-term investment. And, and if you own, if you own the, the best auto dealership in town, uh, the best brand, and had a, somebody good running it, you wouldn't drop by every day and say, you know, how many people have come in today? Or, you know, I think interest rates are going up a little. Maybe it'll slow down our sales or anything. No, you buy it knowing there's 365 days a year. And, you're going to own it for 20 years, so that's 7,300 days, and you know they're going to things are going to be <laughs> different from day to day and year to year. You shouldn't buy it if the day to day stuff is important. Let's switch. Uh